It's time for our tech segment and joining us is our tech reporter, Paul Ndiho. Hello, Paul. Thank you, Esther. In Africa, most people in rural areas have no access to electricity or are entirely cut off from the power grid. Many resort to uh, polluting energy sources like kerosene lanterns or generators. Husk Power Systems, a U.S.-based company, uses its uh, AI-enabled solar mini-grids to deliver 100% renewable power to off-grid rural communities in East Africa and West Africa. For more, I spoke to William Brent, a chief marketing officer, Husk Power Systems, based in Barcelona via Skype. Welcome to Africa 54. Thank you so much, Paul. Great to be here. What is Husk and what are you guys doing in Africa? The company essentially created a category of decentralized renewable energy systems called mini grids. Um, and we use solar panels, biomass gasification, and batteries uh, that generate electricity. And then we also set up distribution poles and transmission lines. And essentially, we go into unelectrified or poorly electrified communities in rural Africa uh, and bring the, those communities electricity for the first time, plus, uh, uh, in addition to the, the electricity, an assortment of energy services that we also provide. When you talk about uh, rural Africa, can you be a little bit specific? There's about a billion, maybe billion two, I think, uh, people in, in all of Africa. Um, about half of those people are still unelectrified, and they all live in, in rural areas, some in peri-urban, but, but mostly uh, rural areas. So we're talking about 600 million people, 500 million people without electricity, and uh, that's across sub-Saharan Africa primarily. So, you know, any place outside of a main urban center, uh, that would be peri-urban or rural. These are essentially unelectrified communities and, um, you know, have been so for decades and reliant in, entirely on kerosene or on diesel generators uh, for any power that they do have. These are largely agrarian communities with large farming, uh, act mostly farming activities, agriculture, uh, but also, you know, many large towns, uh, villages that have a fair amount of economic activity, small retail shops, etc. Any specific countries uh, that uh, you've uh, invested in so far? So two so far, uh, Tanzania and Nigeria. Nigeria being the largest unelectrified uh, country, well, the largest unelectrified population in sub-Saharan Africa, about 90 million people. So almost half of the population of Nigeria is without access to any electricity. Uh, Tanzania has got a better rate of electrification, but still a huge population that, that's uh, unelectrified. And then we're also looking at other countries in sub-Saharan Africa. You have countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is about 60 million people unelectrified, Ethiopia, and many other uh, countries, uh, Madagascar, Mozambique, Angola, Mali, uh, fr Francophone Africa in the West also. What does it take for somebody to tap into uh, your mini-grid? In Nigeria, the case of Nigeria, we're importing solar panels, smart meters, inverters, etc. The things you need to actually run one of these mini-grids. And then what we do is, is offer our services to people on a pay-as-you-go basis. So. Um, all of our connections are smart metered, so we can, you know, monitor how much energy is being used by any particular customer, uh, whether it's a business customer or a household. And, you know, we, we work with our customers to help them understand based on their income, based on the types of appliances they may already have in their home or the ones that they want to buy, uh, how much electricity they would need. Uh, and then we, 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 at the beginning of each month, assuming that, that we connect them to our mini-grid, they pay a, a fee. How are you bringing AI into the mix here to supply electricity? Well, the role of technology and artificial intelligence in, in our business model is really, really important. You can imagine that we're building mini-grids in parts of countries that are hard to reach. You know, for example, in Nigeria, to get from Abuja, where our, our country office is, to the sites that we're, we've electrified so far, it's a five to six hour drive because it's hard to get to them. It's also can, can be very expensive to service them unless you're able to automate your operations as much as possible. And that's where digital solutions like IOT, artificial intelligence and machine learning, smart metering, these become critical 
aspects to our ability to scale our operations in a cost-effective, capital-efficient way. If we don't use AI, for example, to help with demand uh, load profile and managing that load profile, you know, we have to there instead use uh, people to do that or other means to do that. It becomes uh, expensive to the point where uh, operating the mini grid doesn't become viable over time, right? So the, 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 the whole focus of digitization is to drive our costs down as much as possible uh, to bring that levelized cost of energy, the cost of energy to ultimately our goal is to be around 20 cents per kilowatt hour. Thank you so much for your time, William. Paul, it's been a pleasure. Great to see you. William Brent, a chief marketing officer, Husk Power Systems, spoke to us from Barcelona, Spain. That's today's Tech Report. Back to you, Esther. Thanks, Paul. Be sure to join Paul and Deha every Wednesday right here for another tech segment on Africa 54. And that wraps up our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voafrica.com. From all of us here in Washington, thanks for watching. <laughs>